Hello Kingsmen, welcome back to another Napoleon Total War 3 battle. Today we have a 4v4. This is a core battle. Uh, the Peninsular Corps, as you can see, we have Spain. This is on a Spanish map. And uh, we have Spain, the UK, and Portugal riding together, or marching together, whatever you want to call it. And they're taking on the French in a very historic style battle here. Now the armies, I don't really have points for these, except for on the coalition side where you see a six point. Wellesley bringing a 13 point Lion army with some cap, of course. And then you have, um, actually this is the player who sent this in, Nate Devourer. He's playing as the 10 point Spain. Um, anytime he posts a replay, I'm very excited to see what it will be. And uh, hopefully today will not disappoint. I am sure it won't. Now you can see they sent some guerrilla units ahead of time who took both the LSCs here. And uh, it looks like the one LSC they're all foraging towards, surging towards, is uh, this one-pointer. So they already have two one-pointers, another one-pointer here. So it's going to be a French attack, uh, allies, or coalition defend. Um, you see the coalition has a seven-pointer. Pushing up with their cav already. They're going to try scouting out, seeing where the French are planning to attack. Now, on the French side, I believe you have Mortier, I saw. Um, you have Suchet, also known as, from past videos, actually calling him Suck It. Can't believe I did that. <laughs> we have Salt. Oh, we have some cav. We have Lancer. What are these Lancers doing? There's literally 23 of them. And then, and they started charging this uh, cavalry unit of uh, Portugal. But like I said, Air Mortier, um, Salt, and then Victor, Victor Pirin, Pirin, probably butchering that too, as I always do. And uh, you can now see some calves starting to show up here: Hussars and uh, Chevalier Westphalians. So we got some Germans joining the French in their attack of the Peninsular. Also, it looks like they have some of the line infantry. Now, I do believe the Peninsular cores for the French have smaller line infantry units. Um, possibly there were some Lancers who were going to attack the Hussars. Decided not to. The French definitely have a straight shot down this road with their line infantry. You can see they are definitely going to utilize that. Um, but you can see what I'm saying, these units are maybe a hundred strong, not even. So very small units, unlike the French, who are not not the French. I am better not have another day like yesterday. So um, the Spanish usually bring some bigger units. You can see most of them way over a hundred. Um, I do believe the UK actually have some beefier units as well. Um, hundred, well, yeah, hundred, hundred, twenty, ninety-five, I mean... It's all right. And then, of course, more Spanish bring in some uh, slightly larger units. Maybe it'll, maybe it's pretty even. Um, we do have the uh, Portuguese bring in. Oh, I do love this. their light infantry. I love bringing as many of those as I can when I play the customs. Very fun, very effective accuracy and reloading skill. But they're bringing a lot of infantry. All squareables. Now, the Spanish don't have as many squareables, I do believe. They have a decent amount, but the UK and Portuguese are going to be the problems for the French. The French relying on their cav a lot of the time, and we will see what they can do today. So far, I have seen a lot of hussars, but it's in the scouting phases of this fight. Now, of course, the F Spanish have gotten an excellent view of this entire Grand Army, and uh, Chasseurs, Chevaliers are the only cav that seem to be with this army. Um... Now the French don't have, or not the, gosh, the Spanish don't seem to have a lot of cav here. They're just scouting. Um, most of these are really light in mediums, maybe a couple of mediums back here. Horse artillery is going to move up with some of their heavier cavalry, as well as the Lancers, Scarlet Lancers. My goodness. Look at these. These aren't Lancers. Lies, but they do look really nice. And they're going to be pushing up with the heavier cab. I, you can tell it's heavier cab because you can hear the hoof marks even when they're just walking. <laughs> That's kind of a cool thing. Like heavier cab, you actually can hear it. Um, over here, it looks like actually we may have some artillery from France opening up. Yes, yeah, four pounders setting up. They're probably going to start 
taking some pot shots at the uh, Portuguese cavalry here. So kind of sitting here, but I do hear a cav fight. And, uh, yep, we do have Spain kind of trying to scare off these line infantry. And they just didn't fall for it. They're like, ha, you're not going to fool us. We're marching towards your guns, and there's nothing you can do about it. But then the gunners are like, well, watch me. Although they may actually back up. This is an excellent position for the Spanish to have, but, I mean... They gotta be able to keep it, and their army is slow moving. So can they scare away the French army before the French take this hill and push them back to, well, this area, which is not as favorable. There's a road, but it's kind of more of... Uh, it doesn't look as good for them. Now they have skirms moving up. Their infantry is starting to really push forward here, getting really close. They just have to hold off the French lines until the uh, their line infantry get there, and they can hold. So... Artillery is committing here, so the French need to be very cautious. In fact, we may have a charge. Oh, look at that. They may get shot in the face, but they're going to fall. Oh, we have a cab fight over here. Line infantry getting charged by some Spanish who issued out of the forest here. More Lancer is going to go in against the French cavalry here. Possibly some more volunteers is going to push around the side. Now, Spain is not going to do so hot here. As this line infantry, I think, formed square. And then the French also pushed forward with their cav. They're delaying the French ever so slightly. Just ever so slightly. Now, they do have some cav over here that's actually going to flank these chevaliers. And more lancers going to push up. The line infantry still pushing forward here. But uh, this artillery is now going to shoot at these guys while they're in a square formation. I'm assuming. And this is causing... Oh, no, they're taking on this cavalry for France. France is actually ignoring this, and they're going to push forward. This may be their undoing. If they ignore this hill and let the Spanish take this hill, it may be bad for them. Now, France has overcommitted here and now got surrounded as they were chasing down some of the Spanish who have actually come back. But they have managed to actually break the Chevaliers, and the French don't have a lot of cav on this side to really uh, expend. Um, on this fight now we still do like i said have the scarlet lancer light dragoons um over here to help support this side they are still pushing forward we do have some skirms pushing up here i think the artillery is going to make a stand if they can get these guys down below the magic 44 they won't be able to form square anymore not trying to rhyme or anything but they actually hit them they could not form square in time and uh, Spain has managed to actually hold this hill. France is definitely going to lose. They've lost a cav unit and an infantry unit, and they're actually going to pull back. They should have just advanced in a regular line. Um, like I said, they're probably going to regret that later on down the road. Now we do see the rest of the French armies are on this left side. So this is the far right flank for the Spanish. This is a very good, um, on the coalition side, this is very good. You know where the French are. You know where their line ends, and uh, it ends over here and over here. Artillery seems to be dueling it. We do have artillery for the Portuguese and Spanish. No, Portuguese cat artillery is actually shifting over, probably to fight in this town. The Spanish cannon is actually falling back. I think they were getting shot at by the French um, four pounders that were set up over here, so they're falling back. You can see a lot of skirms setting up here. A lot of Cav just kind of screening for their army. And uh, the Portuguese are going to advance on this town with the Spanish. And uh, what may be happening here is a slow but sure, steady engulfing of this army. Uh, Victor Bellalune may be getting surrounded. Um, he's going to form up on the side here, but he's under artillery fire now. That is not something you want at this moment in time. So, um, yeah, the French are not looking too good position-wise. The French were not able to take this hill. Spain is now going to use this hill, use this grove. They can push down skirms. They can push down infantry. And Cav cannot destroy them very easily because it just Cav gets slowed down in these uh, trees. So they will look very good. Now, where is the rest of the French army? Because the uh, Spanish and Portuguese could get 
flanked. Um, Britain is in the center. The UK are in the center with the Portuguese. Spain looks like they are going to be taking this far left flank of the French, right flank of the coalition. And uh, getting ready to play defensively, possibly. Like I said, remember though, they should be attacking, not defending. Another building taken by some cheaper units for the Spanish. Look at these large lines for the UK. Let's look at that. Oh, I gotta get close to the ground and get a cool shot of this. There's so much UK marching here. Like, oh my goodness. So many flags. And they have not deployed yet. Now, the Portuguese are moving down. They have an LSC here, but they're going to move down this road. I do believe they had some line infantry. Their light infantry actually skirmishing in this village. But the Spanish, uh, with them pushing up here, they can fall back. And the French are going to advance and try taking this town here. Small little homes. Man. What a small town. Most of the houses up are on stilts, you see. Yeah, they're up on stilts here. And uh, they're going to push up into the town center. This is kind of, I'd say, the town center, which they are taking and pushing up. The Portuguese probably going to put an LSC here. Spain actually getting very close. They have their skirms pushing up here. Um, going to start harassing the side of the French army. France should honestly use this whole town and get on the other side of it and use it to kind of break up an attack. Because the street fighting, they can stand on the side and just volley with Tons of line infantry. You can have tons here against one or two. Um, this street fight may not well work well for them. Now, the Portuguese, I cannot remember how good their stats are when it comes to uh, melee. But this LSC is going to be the death of this French army. But they're going to march out here and try to get in regular volleys. Oh my goodness, look at the slaughter. These guys get shot to pieces. Already losing 20 of their men. They're going to probably break. That was a punishing volley the Portuguese gave them. And this fight is going to start becoming a little more disorganized, I guarantee you. This is also a house bug that will start. You'll see these guys starting to advance towards the house, and then they just won't stop. Or they'll stop in weird formations and then shoot. Now, we do have more French starting to push forward into this town here. So, uh, this may be definitely an engagement. Now, the... Oh, we have a cav charge going for the side here of these lines. Cannot form square. Spain is now utilizing their massive numbers when it comes to cavalry, and they're going to break another French line infantry unit, possibly. The rest of the French are going to push up here, maybe use the rest of their cav defensively. This artillery hasn't even gotten in position. Um, four Our pounders. Are running, sir. Cav has been broken, but they did really hurt this line infantry unit, and they're going to go in and harass them even more. Um, actually, they're not going to because of this Hussar unit pushing up to defend that side. They do outnumber these guys, so France shouldn't commit too much because now Spain is going to flank them and probably break this Hussar unit. And uh, Spain is just being relentless. Now, these Grenadiers can form square. Um, these artillery are in trouble. At the same time, we do have, you can see, this line infantry getting just destroyed by this LOC. This LOC bug is a little painful, to be honest. Um, and this could cause a lot of problems for the French. You see, Spain is able to push here, as well as the UK, and break yet another one of the French cav units. France does not have a lot of cav, really, to push. This flank is going to be a problem, I predict, for the rest of this battle. And uh, I love the positioning. France should fall back from this LOC. They need to get back into a regular line. They need to fall back. Why hold the town? You don't even have the LOC. You have units already wavering. Save the rest of your army. These guys are going to get stopped and shot in the side by the Portuguese. This was a terrible decision. And it's going to have some very echoing repercussions for this French army. Now, France is pushing up over on this side. I have not been paying attention to it. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, they're pushing up with a lot of line infantry. They have infantry going to push up on the uh, guerrillas. So this flank is a problem. Um, there is a Spanish army way in the back that can help out with that. But France is going to start pushing up. But the UK 
sending in a lot of cavalry here and actually really harassing this French army as they are in a line battle against the UK. UK is going to do very well here. They're the same size units as the French. This is a very even fight. France is starting to lose by this town. Are running, sir. And they're having to be defensive against all of this Spanish cav here. Uh, some dragoons helping them out now. Looks like more French dragoons pushing up on this side, but Spain is going to start pushing up here. Got more thunder. It's monsoon season, so there'll be a lot of thunder. Hopefully no power outages, because that'll be awful right now. Uh, so building was lost. The French did take one of the buildings. They're going to start pushing forward. Obviously, Spain way in the back here, very far away. That's going to take them a minute to even catch up here. But the UK are able to start really pushing up on this Spanish line. And you see the uh, Dragoons, not Dragoons, but uh, the Cav of Portugal starting to route units here on the side. More line infantry pushing up now for the French. You can't even be a little cautious because they could leave themselves exposed on a huge gap. But they are, for the time being, are going to start pushing forward. Trying to take out as many of the French as possible before the reinforcements arrive. And uh, France is wisely going to start falling back, letting their reinforcements start pushing forward here. The artillery going to start shelling the UK on this side, not looking too good for them. And they're actually going to start falling back as France is going to start sweeping around this flank. Spain will have to rush up to actually be able to stop it. Now, there's a lot uh of -oh, Portuguese getting... Uh, Unfortunately, multitasked, and they lost the cab. They got volleyed and charged, but Spain has a lot of cab over here. They're going to charge it and sweep these Lancers under the rug. Uh, this, battle this battle definitely being focused around this area where Spain, Portuguese, and Portugal, and uh, the UK are going to push Stop. this town center. Stop. Not Our really the scene of a lot of fighting. Now, France lost pretty big right here, but... Uh, France is now wisely going to fall back a little bit, kind of use the streets to even the odds when it comes to numbers. Um, Spain is going to start pushing on this left flank as uh, France is going to have to form up, shift more of their infantry here. They're spreading the French army out. But they are starting to take some losses here. Some of their units going to maybe have a morale issues. Um, as they're going to get into a locked line battle. And now the French are going to start pushing forward with a flank of their own. So the UK are going to have to reform, kind of deal with that. We do have line infantry, the detachments. Very cool looking unit. Going to do their best, maybe. And actually some cab going to support them here. Yes, there's some calves supporting them. Gonna charge these uh, French in the back. I'm trying to maybe utilize this sacrificial UK All unit. Men are running, sir. But uh, they are definitely gonna waver and break. Um, and the French are definitely start pushing up. This is a weak side for the UK. Over here, things are kind of back and forth. I think um, the French are just a little better. Um, but, but Spain has a very excellent push here. You see, they keep surrounding and just destroying the French cab. That's the way to do it because your cab is not superior is not superior to the French. So you have to use numbers and morale, which is they have a general up here to make sure the units don't to route. But here come more dragoons. They could easily smash these Spanish cab units. But they're gonna start pushing forward here. Artillery though, running, setting up, gonna really make it difficult for the Spanish to actually make a push. It's going to get very brutal very quickly here. Uh, Spain has started to push up. Do they have what it takes, though? Do they have enough line infantry to match all of the French that are pushing up here? I do hear a charge. More Portuguese going to charge in with some King's German Legion. Very good charge. They're just, they just keep using this little, this little area and trying to cause as much damage, maybe split the French in half. They are also setting up some of their six-pounder shrapnel artillery. They do have cab to back it up because 
once you put artillery in the front lines or near the front lines, it's going to be the focus point of a lot of enemy uh, infantry and or cav mainly. Both sides now disengaged. That dragoons definitely got beaten back um, with the line infantry being able to help support that French Spanish cav fight. France is going to have to try to hold here. Horse truly maybe going to move up and support that fight. The town fight still raging here. Skirmishers in the front lines. Oh my goodness. These guys are going to start executing the French. As the French, you can see, taking some heavy losses here. The UK have to hold a little bit longer so the Spanish can get into position. But uh, this is going to be very brutal. We got some Voltigeurs pushing up that are going to really start shooting down this Spanish line infantry. Over here, four units, a small French detachment is going to push up on a much larger Spanish line here and having some uh, some kind of scattered line fights. You have a line fight here, line fight here, then of course we have the main line fight and I love the regular volleys. You see, actually the UK are having some uh, wavering problems as the French actually keep just sticking more tr fresh troops in. Line infantry able to form square on part of this, but these heavy dragoons are really going to start chopping this French lineup even more. Oh, we had a counter charge by the Lancers of France, and uh, they were able to break that six pounder artillery for the UK. So, UK going to start probably having a break here. As you can see, the columns massing for France. They're even actually exchanging troops out. Fresh troops on the line, and the UK have no fresh reinforcements to send. But the hard work is paying off here. This French line is battered, broken, and bruised, and starting to have a possible mass rout here. How long can they hold? They've really been focusing them down. Over here, still just a steady, slow but steady Spanish army pushing forward. I think they're about to have a breakthrough here, and I think the UK can feel it because with their heavy Dragoon guards and the line infantry pushing up, they're starting to mass route one after the other of these uh, French line infantry. But at the same time, France is just, they feel the, I, I'm sure they feel the break coming here. Um, artillery for Spain, way back here on the hill, able to really support this line fight. These are some very large units of Spanish line infantry. Morale's not as good, but they maybe can hold. Over here, I think Spain knows, or France knows they're out numbered, so they're pushing forward more infantry, trying to support this side, as these guys are going to get shot to pieces. And Spain is actually falling back on this side. I think um, that means the UK need to fall back too. Uh, they could get outflanked. You see Spain, or France, is actually going to push forward. Now, we do have some more Dragoon Guards here. These guys can do a lot of work in this fight still. Now, we do have a Cav Charge going for the Artillery of the UK. The Shrapnel getting charged by some uh, Chessier Cheval. They may break them here. France is actually going to fall back in the center here, and there actually may be some uh, breaking in the town area. So there could be a huge break in the center area by the town or right over here. We do have a cab camp counter charging here going in for artillery of the French. And uh, this may be an all out cab fight or cab charge. Here comes the cab. Man, I love the Spanish maps. They're just so beautiful. So this fight, actually, the French are pushing forward and the Spanish are actually pulling back. Um, I don't know if they thought they were losing, but they've already walked... The French have already marched over some Spanish dead here. Um, ooh, so Spain charged in, was able to take out the artillery, four-pounders, and uh, now it's going to do some charges here. The Cav, super Cav dominance... 
for the uh, coalition to be sure they had a huge dominance here another cab charge these heavy UK cab gonna go in for a massive infantry this guy he's like hey They're gonna fall back before they break here as they have pushed back the French. Oh, another calf charge going in here. My goodness, the calf is just always pushing back. They're gonna go straight for the gap and go for the artillery here. Nothing can stop the coalition from being able to take out anything they want. Um, over here, we got more Spanish Cav pushing forward, um, pushing with some line infantry. I would say this is a losing battle now for the French. They need Napoleon to roll up here with some some heavy uh, columns. Um, they're losing this battle, although they are pushing on this flank. They have some Cav as well. As, oh, some Cressiers. So finally some heavies. Um, these guys are going to have to definitely pull their weight. I mean, I suspect the UK are going to have to send their heavies over to deal with them. But some line infantry now pushing up here. They're trying to turn the flank of the UK. As this front is uh, failing, they are trying to turn it. Not a bad idea. Um, some more Spanish reinforcements going to push over, try to join together. It looks like there's a line infantry that did a bayonet charge trying to route. The French are trying to route the Spanish before reinforcements show up. Here we go. That... That cav fight that I predicted is happening here. Our men are running for the Cressiers. 1v1ing. The heavy cav of uh, the UK. See, the clash is epic. Artillery, though, really going in here. Who's going to win this fight? I think they're... I suspect that the uh, infantry support of the UK is going to help. Although, actually, no, that's French. So uh, the Cressier is taking a beating here, but uh, some line infantry going in to try to save them. And the French are actually starting to encircle the UK. So this fight not going so well for the coalition again. Um, France had a huge break with their line infantry here. And, uh, well, that does not look exciting for them. With some weak line infantry kind of sitting back here in Spain. It's just slowly but surely been just shooting away at the French. Um, this is turning into a flip-flop battle. Look at this. The French broke in mass with a bayonet charge with some cab rushing in as well. They were able to break in mass most of the French army or Spanish army right here. Uh, the remainder of the Spanish are going to push up this hill and try to maybe uh, hold with some of their volunteers and all the artillery. All their artillery is up here. But France is actually making a comeback here. Starting to really chew up. I should have this going really chew up the coalition line here so this is going backwards unfortunately as uh france is managing to uh fight back now spain is definitely chewing up this french army um this french army is uh probably not going to live to see another day they are just being encircled artillery there's only five men left i'm surprised they haven't broken yet brave unit These uh, light company are just chewing them up. And Spain is going to have to help with this fight once it's over because the UK and Portugal are almost gone. I mean, they just broke. Oh, we have, oh no. The artillery for Spain got just charged and uh, that's going to break. Now there is... 
hopefully some Cavs going to defend this artillery because this could turn the tide still. Um, oh no, the French are going in for it. They're going to go in for the artillery here. Can they get the crucial shot off? A general is actually going to intercept them. Our and, men are running, sir. Oh, no. Line of street also going to charge them, so they're trying to slow them down, desperately trying to stop them. But France is now going to try to encircle the uh, Spanish and Portuguese in the city. Portugal does have some line of tree left. They are not totally out of this fight. Um, not a lot of cav left for them, but they can still do this. They just got to let Spain beat this French army here. Oh, the volunteers. Charging with their artillery, and Spain may actually mass route a ton of the French here. Now they can start pushing up once again. Our men are running, sir. Line of Patrice, some grenadiers going in. These guys are mass routing the French line. Look at this. I think it was two of them, actually. Yeah, two of them just routed the whole French army. My gosh. So they may actually be able to come back, and if the French beat themselves too hard against this defensive LOC, they could lose here. Now, there is a line fight still happening. Wow, these cav are still alive, but they broke. So the infantry definitely saved the artillery. This line fight is probably going to go in favor of the French. We have some infantry on the sides here that's going to start gunning down. Oh my goodness, they just broke them. Huge unit just broke. So Spain is looking awful on that side, unfortunately. Um, ooh, we got some line infantry doing a bayonet charge into the building. Uh, I think actually some Portuguese are, uh, see, counter charging. Making it tough for them. So the coalition still has a chance to win. They just mass routed the French over on this side with those grenadiers. Man, these guys saved the day. What a terrific bayonet charge. Look at these hats. Real MVP of that fight. I feel like. Um, this Portuguese UK line is going to probably break soon. You see they're starting to really fall to pieces. Oh, have the French taken it? Some more infantry went in. We got some Cav charging in here. Probably going to go for some Voltigeurs. No, this is going to go in for some of the line infantry. Like I said, they're trying their best to hold, but it's just a slow break. The Spanish need to get in there. Um, but, I mean, they're trying as fast as they can, but... Um, oh, wow, they held it. Now, how many more times can they repel an attack? Portuguese are about to break on this side. The Spanish are coming. And uh, hopefully the Spanish can hold on this side. We do have the artillery trying to do what they can. In fact, where are they firing? They may be trying to go for the back lines of this uh, French army. We have some 14E infantry getting actually countercharged by more of the Portuguese here. So there, you can see they're going to be attacked in the rear. But they're winning, so they may actually beat this. And more French may be going to break themselves on this LOC. This may actually be good. As now, you can see that the uh, the Spanish actually have a lot of troops here. They're going to have good positioning. Uh, this grove and a hill here. So that's very good positioning for them for defense. Um, this building has fallen yikes. to the enemy. Over here, the French are basically cleaning up. This artillery maybe is going to try to do their best to now deal with some of this French army. These French units probably could have now been used better over here. Now, the Portuguese finally lost this LOC. France has claimed it. Or not, yeah. France has claimed it. Um, so now the LOCs are as follows. Two versus one. Um, now the French did take this one. They may be sending someone over here. But also this cavalry 
He's going to probably check that out, make sure they're not still claiming it, because right now, LSC Victory would be theirs. Our um, men are running, sir. No, no. Some line of Oh, Grenadiers, my goodness. So there's still some French left with uh, the French general. We're going to save a couple units back here to try to deal with them while the bulk of the French army is attacking his other line. And things don't look the greatest at the moment. Where are those Grenadiers? Maybe they can make a play, you know? Here they are. Do life of a regiment with these guys. They could make a sneaky attack here and charge through the streets. If Spain can get the French to push up to this road, then they can just waltz down here. Um, but the French are feeling pretty good probably at the moment. They have one over here, basically. Just some artillery and then some cab. Oh, that can really help out if they charge the guns. <clears throat> we got a lot of skirms on this side. With the artillery for Spain actually still very much alive. So this battle may be winding down, but it is no way over. Once again, France getting into a fight. You can barely see the Spanish. Actually, yeah, the Spanish have fallen way back. So maybe they're trying to pull the French in. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Ooh. That may cause these guys to break. Here we go. We have another artillery piece for the Spanish. These grenadiers are going to fall back as uh, the Spanish. The French are going to pour back into the city. They're walking over a lot of their own dead. What a desperate last stand. But if they can hold the side, they have two LOCs. Now this, the French would take this one and this one. So it would matter who takes this other LOC. Um, this artillery may be trying to shell this. Yeah, they actually are shelling it, so they could do some heavy damage. Oh, we have a bayonet charge. The line of infantry gonna go in sacrificial. Stop this 21 legionnaire unit as they're gonna try to All rush men some men up. Tough. But you see the morale actually shaking. But here come the grenadiers. Can they save? More grenadiers gonna clash in this town. Oh, they've caught the French unawares. And over here, look at this. Here we go. The Spanish, can they hold? Actually, they seem to be doing pretty well. <clears throat> At the moment. There's a general now rushing up here. Oh, can they keep their Grenadiers in the fight? Now with the General pushing up, maybe they can. They are wavering. Another General going to roll up here. Oh no, these Grenadiers have broken on this side. They look like they almost broke a lot. Oh, they did. A lot of French breaking here. Now they've lost both their Grenadiers, but those guys may have really stopped the French from being able to capitalize too much on this uh, attack. Now... There still is an open flank, and Spain is looking pretty weak. This, look at this general. He's sitting right by the... Uh oh Get out of there. <laughs> Yikes. You're really close to trying to kill the this general. This building has fallen to the enemy. Another building taken. LOC victory looks to be possibly in favor of the Spain. The uh, French alliance, although they look like they were starting to really lose in the very beginning, so. We do have some more Spanish going up, possibly for this one-pointer. Yeah, they're going to go for the one-pointer. Um, what LCs do they have, then? They have one pointer over here, then get this one pointer over here, and then just be a 2v, you know, 2v2. It'd be a draw, I do believe. We do have line infantry going in against the Spanish as uh, 
All the men are Arthur running. Wellesley. Has no problem standing in uh, taking some volleys. We have some of uh, the Portuguese lights. As well as some artillery here. Uh, I'm kind of concerned now for the Spanish. They have, what, 17 minutes? If they can take... But the thing is, the French could easily roll up here and take this LOC. Um, oh, we have some Cavs sneaking up here. Maybe going to go for a general. Yes, they are. General Suchet. All these men in their fezes. Fez looking hats. Oh, the general, the French general right here, Suchet. Man, he's still alive. Wow. Um, they broke him, but uh, he broke too. So this is the last desperate stand here. Spain is falling back. Portuguese on the other side. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here. Um, France has definitely taken this center town. Um, now it's just a matter of who has the yellow seas. Um, <laughs> Because the battle's definitely wound down. It's it's over. The standing line fight is over. The French are going to try to get as many LSCs as possible. So are the uh, coalition. So uh, let's see. Spanish definitely going to take this one. They have two. This French have two. So it's a matter of who can get this LOC. And who can defend this LOC? So uh, the French are going to start rolling down this road, it looks like. So the Spanish are going to have to try to delay them for 13 minutes. Not looking too good for the coalition, I'm not going to lie. I've had some intense battles come down to the literally last second who got in the building before it was over. Um, the French actually don't seem too interested in rushing this part. So maybe I'll just skip to... Oh, oh, there is an LOC fight happening here. We have taken the buildings up. And the cavalry. Oh my goodness, what a play by the Portuguese. They're chopping the French to pieces. But they got into the LOC. What a pity. Um, that is a pity. They barely got there in time, but the French took it. So now the French definitely have a uh, LSC advantage. Now, of course, they did take this point, so it's still tied at the moment. Um, no, it's not. They have, the French have this one, this one, and this one. And they're going to push for this one. So let's keep fast forwarding here. Ten minutes left. Artillery looks like for the uh, Spanish is going to just push up here and just try to wear down the. Uh... Look at this. See the guy sitting out here all by himself. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Oh, we have the uh, French or the Spanish going to go in for the house with some line infantry here. They're going to take it. So it's going to wind up we have being... We've taken the buildings up! Who can hold this LOC for eight minutes? Oh man, this is the desperate last stand. And what does he have? He has some line of tree and a general. If I put his general inside the LOC... I'm not sure what these guys are doing. They're going to have excellent positioning. Oh. Wait, the French showed up. Hold on. So the French showed up 
and are now attacking this LSC that the Portuguese literally poured everything into. Artillery is setting up here. Oh, this, this is going to be another desperate fight for this LOC. The French, I've taken some pretty heavy losses. There's a general still here. Uh-oh, the French are actually starting to really lose here. They can set up this artillery really fast. They can start shooting into the side. More French going in. They're getting shot to pieces, though. I think that the coalition is going to hold on to this. So it's going to come down to... Uh, oh, what do we have here? Some artillery. Are they going to charge this one? Um, but no, the French are going to push on this LSC, being the last one probably to take. They definitely defended that one. The French are gone over there. And we'll find out. It'll notify us. But uh, the positioning here... Look at all the infantry that are on this side shooting our out. Men are running, sir. Uh oh. Ah. Nothing too important. Yeah, the French were repelled. So it is just a desperate stand. I don't think the French actually can do this. I think they're going to lose by LOC. Spain only has four minutes. They can hold. Yeah, they're going to hold. Now, there is some regular volleys coming off here. Spain is going to have some men up. They have some very large units. Some better line infantry, too. And uh, I'm just going to skip ahead here because it's just, it's just going to be a line fight at this point. Uh, there's a general, of course. Maltier is going to push forward. The French are going to actually sneak around, try to sneak around the side and uh, try to push in this LOC. In fact, it looks like, yeah, they're going to bayonet charge here. Full on bayonet charge. We have a general. These light infantry are holding. And light infantry actually running, pushing up here. Ooh, no. 115 infantry at the line. Oh, there's two minutes. It may it may not it may not happen. We have more tier now gonna charge in. This is a huge rally by the uh, Spanish. As now at this point, they're just pushing forward desperately with anything they have, ignoring this fight to try to get some men in here. They got to deal with two infantry units. Our men are running, sir. Now they're going to deal with it, but uh, let's see if they can do this. Um, they need their general to rally them, but they're going to push forward already. Oh, wow. They just walked through the wall. <laughs> Did not realize that. But here comes Spain. Spain needs to hold for literally, what, a minute. Can they hold here? I think they can hold. I actually think they will. These gorillas may not work, but these uh, line infantry, 97 of them, seem to be doing pretty well at the moment. They're winning slight. Uh oh. Oh no, they're shaking. 28 seconds to go, guys. Oh no, I think Spain's going to lose it at the last minute. Oh my goodness. Oh no, what? Oh my goodness. They need to charge these guys in. They, they, there we go. There we go. There's six seconds. They're not going to take it in time. What a hold. It came down to the last second. The Spanish held. These guys are MVPs in the book. It's always a couple seconds after it ends. But a, what a replay. A victory for the coalition. Barely. Like, barely. Um, you can see the kills were really good on both sides. Um, this Spanish unit, unfortunately, the Spanish army did not get a lot of kills. They just got kind of gunned down. They probably were that unit that just got mass routed on the side. Um, but you can see, man, the line infantry got some really good kills. Look at these grenadiers. They definitely got some good kills. 
um, were able to really turn the tide. All this line infantry was able to gun down probably that French army. So that is it for me today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for joining me. Um, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in another video.